there. Um, quick little thing before, you know, continue into the episode. There's a point in the first video for episode 13's reaction where I think it's like mm, three to five minutes into the video. Not with the timer, but before that, I was doing a little talk real quick before we started the episode where my video freezes and the audio kind of like goes iffy and everything. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Because uh, I'm literally trying to edit the video right now and it's being stupid because my dumb bit, my stupid fucking laptop decided to freeze while I was making the video. But yeah, everything else is fine. I just wanted to go ahead and put that out just in case somebody was like, what in the world just freaking happened? So yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, it's Queen DJ and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 13 to 14 in season two of Fire Force. All right. Before we get started, um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who is okay with me either getting the episodes out on Friday or Saturday. Um, as of now, because I know a lot of people are possibly talking about it, um, the issue on this situation, because I know I've seen a lot of people who are sub to me and some other people who are wondering where reactions are for mashups for this show, I have no fucking clue. The last time I checked was episode, this is 13, 14, was episode 12. And it was like, I think, four or five of us still doing um, reactions of it in a mashup. And one dude was officially dropping the show because of some weird reason. I don't remember what. Because someone who I know is uploading the videos, but apparently now they're not uploading it anymore. I think because most of us from the last who were in that group all kind of either dropped it ourselves or kind of postponed it. Cause it was a little weird because I didn't get home, um, last Friday. Um, and my video for like, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to continue from that. I didn't get home until really, really late. I got home about, like, 8, 9 o'clock at night, and I was like, okay, I gotta choose, like, one of these two to get out, and I had to automatically get it when a girl ran out, and so I was a little surprised, skeptical, that nobody really said anything and asked me about Fire Force, and I was like, okay, I was like, maybe I'll do another guy, and then completely it just, like, went out of my head, and then Friday came up, and I looked at my list, and then I looked at the following Friday, and I was like, oh, there's no way in hell I can do this. I mean, <laughs> if it was 2016 Deja talking to 2020 Deja, I think she probably would have been like, you were just, mm. but, because, like, there, I can usually get stuff all done in the day, but it always just depends, but, yeah, I mean, whatever happens, happens. I just want to see what the heck happened. I still like this show. I still, even if I'm probably one of maybe still watching this, it was still good, even though I want to say, like, after Inca left, it was eh, but with the Joker arc, it's getting me back into it a lot more, and I'm hyped for it. I just want to know what the hell happened in, you know, this episode on 14. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 <laughs> in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think you might have to. Okay, but yeah. I I'm glad Joker has, you know, his backstory has come to light because I feel like nobody else can top that now. Even though I'm two weeks behind on this show, but I just want to know what the fuck are him and Burns about to go and they. Uh, this might be. Yeah, this could be the most anticipated fight for this episode. What the hell is Benny Mata? He around there, so he, he's still fighting, maybe. Okay, well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's because what, what else is he going to do? Wait. On the sidelines and shit? I don't know. I mean...
Come here. But it makes you wonder, like, after all of this, are we still going to be okay? Like, I mean, you're not going to fuck up shit, you know, next time y'all see each other, y'all are going to be like, mm-hmm, and I'm just going to be, mm-hmm. <laughs> we going to be cool, you know, we're not going to act suspicious, shit like that. Uh, it's up to y'all. Oh no, there he is! Yeah, I mean, y'all gonna fight or we just gonna talk? But honestly, I really was assuming that you guys were going to fight. Yeah. Come here. And of course, with companies as big as y'all, you're going to have some secrets. Not everybody's going to tell you every little damn thing. That's a different type of thing. Wait, oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's what happened. Okay. Um. Cody, did you have down? You have down. It's pretty. Bright as fuck. Didn't do not really. A possible future, maybe. But then, 
okay, hold on. Then is that the place where Shinra was also going to as well? And he met the girl who looked like, um, Iris? Also, I'm glad that they're doing this because I had always wondered the ish on Burns and Joker's eyes. So, thank God they're doing that. Can I say? Well, because Dippin' Raffles, oh my god, he saw something then, all right, and so we, that has to be the reason why he's like, maybe the eye can wait he was in the diary. Well, that makes the most sense. But if you go to them, I can't speak. If you go to them with this information, I mean, imagine what they'll do with it. I mean, yes, they want this cult religion to, you know, crush. <laughs>
Ja, aber was da hier? Well, then you just have to find the main one. Or you just need that too. Great. I mean, well, Benny Mata, you could wear a mask. I don't want to feel like we're going to meet the last pillar here. Oh! <laughs> oh my fucking god. Wait. <laughs> no. It's not fucked up curry, is it? Yeah. No, no, I, I don't think you'll do that. Mm. Oh, my God, Iris. <laughs> I mean, also, if anybody took me, she was working with Joker, because, um... Okay, gay, gay. Like, okay, let's say this. Let's say 
Inca, because it could be Inca. Let's say Inca get the diary. She take it to this girl. Like, come on. They're going to do some real fucked up shit with that. Possibly. But see, Arthur, no, we can't do that. Exactly. So if you go in like with nothing on, they're immediately gonna fucking recognize you. Same thing with your uniforms. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, shit. Where is Victor? Is he still in his room? Motherfucker. The one time. The one time none of y'all keep eyes on him. <gasps> God, I still don't trust your fucking ass. Which he has been doing. Excuse me? I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> um, why the fuck don't want to kill him though? Okay, I, I'm not surprised that this next pillar is that kid. Because I think there was a moment in time, like, going back to season one, when the ish happened to him, 
I thought he was going to be a character that we would never see again. And whoever this pillar was also going to be was someone that we hadn't even met yet. Just like Inko was. And... I don't know. What the fuck just happened in this episode? This went by really fast. <laughs> oh. I'm glad that you know Burns, Joker, and Bane Manu have an interesting relationship. I'm glad that we also got to see, you know, the backstory on Joker and Burns because they have history. And so you could see it in season one, but I hated the fact that, like, Every single time we saw them together, or whether it was in the episodes itself or in the opening, you really wanted to know about that. And I mean, yeah, we had to wait until season two. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all can't get into that building. That's a big fuck up. And the only person who can was just there. So, are you also fucking testing, uh, testing, telling me that Shinra was tested as well? I mean, see, now I feel like we're going into Darling with this, because there was a moment in Darling, I think it was like in the second half, when we slowly but surely learned about Zero Two and Hiro's past and the rest of the kids' past that they were all test subjects and that they, they automatically were volunteering, um, being volunteered by the adults and everything and shit like that. But, it, well, because then that makes sense because, remember, Shinra lost, uh, Shin, uh, I can't speak, Shinra <laughs> lost everything, you know, his mom, his brother, and of course he had no home to go to and so I'm guessing maybe orphanage or something didn't really want him anymore. Because of the fact is dealing with a lot of baggage from one kid. So I'm guessing he went from either orphanage to orphanage or foster home to foster home. Until the Asher, the Ashen Reaper took them in. I, I don't know. I mean, I have no clue. <laughs> a, a preview doesn't really give me much to go on until I watch the next episode. But... It seems like something else is there. They both know each other. Shinra has a history with this dude. So it's gotta be something. Now, for this industry, what the fuck y'all wanna kill him for? What I mean, not only for the uh, a freaking adult link, I get that. But the, uh, then, it makes, then it makes me wonder, why not kill Sho? Because Sho has it as well. Same thing with Inka, and same thing with this other kid that uh, I don't remember his name. Gilgamesh's VA, you know, who's in the series, um, did what he did in season one. That would make the most sense to go ahead and kill them instead of just killing one specific person, kill them all. I don't know what that would really do. Um, but, yeah. I, I got no fucking clue what the hell's gonna happen in episode 14, but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 14. Okay. Episode 14 in three, two... One, go. I'm gonna feel so bad for her. She's just taking each day. Arthur, really? Oh my god. Why would he? <laughs> See, this is why I wish they kind of knew, had a little more suspicion on Victor! Huh. Um. 
I'm not swinging back. I'm right. Of course. I didn't. Oh my god. What is wrong with you? Also, can we get a Tomaki back story? I mean, yes, even though everybody is, oh my god, <laughs> like, eh about her because they think that she's just fan service, I feel like there's more to her that we haven't really actually gotten to see, so, yeah, go give her the fan, not the fan service, give her the ish that she needs to. I'm just saying. Um, hold on. The girl with the, yeah, she just looked like Triangle Man from Silent Hill. I'm here for it, though, but at the same time, like, I would not want to be walking down no hallway by myself in the dead of night and seeing that because, um, I'd be out like, mm. Not really, probably not. Wait. Wait. This <laughs> he did not just What I was expecting was for them to kind of be like, okay, we're going to take a set, like, couple of episodes until Victor was like, yeah, I I'm just fine. Not, you know, four minutes. Plus, I don't think any of you can go at them as well, so it has to just be those two. I mean, yeah, because specifically they can, you know, from season one, he had to work, so. Yeah. 
See, okay, I get the fact that yes, it's gonna take three years for this issue to get public, but something tells me between for this episode to the end of this series, that is gonna come to light way early. Yeah, so, yeah, no matter what. You a flip flopper. <sighs> Victor might be worse than Kachi. I mean, all. Oh. You gotta feel bad for this kid. He probably didn't want this. He adorable though. Oh my god. I mean, but after that day, I don't think he could ever really have a normal life again. See, you're so traumatized by it. Never, probably. Oh my Yeah, but just because it works for him doesn't mean it's gonna work for him. <laughs> Apples and oranges. Oh. Uh. Things won't kill him. He's just a baby. Really? 
Um, but can, can we talk about his, his arm? What the fuck happened to him? Did Inferno, like, fuck up his arm really bad and just burn him? Was like, mm, here you go. Yeah, but it's a kid! Oh, okay. I mean, I'd be fine if you stop his neck. I don't know who he's voiced by. He has a nice voice. I just don't like him. Why do they give him the really effed up music? <laughs> that is some scary music. Is it's okay. I like it though. Cause girl loves horror movies. I mean, look at him, it's fucking crazy. Go get him, Cody. No, it's not. Um. Yeah. I mean, but hey, if you gotta kill someone, do what you gotta do. Then who's gonna protect you? Oh, she's cute. Yeah, but in the end, you guys still kill them. Yeah, of course not to go to the central place. Oh. You are here. Hmm. I 
mean, can we just kill these people and just get him and get out? And also take the other kids as well? I mean, she don't feel like... She don't seem like a bad person, but see... You never know. You can see the fucking back there. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. She don't feel like a Just the snow. Or did, did you inhale it? Of course he is. <laughs> okay. Really don't like him. He's interesting though. But the fact that this is a guy who was just abusing crap at a kid. I was just distracted. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, uh, Colonel's gonna keep going. <laughs> See? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Um, so y'all don't have an alarm to stop him? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Um, Karina? What? Okay. I, I, I need more context on him. Like, I, 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 um, you can't end like that. Like, no. That ish. That's. No. It's her, it, uh, what the fuck is your problem? What happened? What happened to him as a child, as a man growing up? Because it, there had to be something. And then... Uh, Not. I feel bad for him. So it's now confirming. Yes, he is the the pillar that we need. He has an adult link as well. I just want Shinra to get out of this fight with Karino and get this kid, take him home, and just tell him everything's gonna be okay, even though it's not. Because this kid didn't ask to be a part of this, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> he was just picked. And I feel bad for him because his, the things that he wanted will never come true. <laughs> oh, he just coming back. Can I just say that even though what's his face is dead, the fact that he, <laughs> he, he still is it, it's fucking hilarious. I think if anybody had told any of us at the like the point of season one when he died that he was gonna have more of like a development in season two, I probably would have looked at you like you were nice. I was like, I, I probably would have said he's dead. He ain't coming back. And <laughs> oh god. Um Yeah, I just need some I, I need something on Karino because I wanna know why in the world this dude is just like, yeah, I like abusing the shit out of kids. I I don't know how to feel about that. I, I feel like <laughs> like I'm a mom. Because, like, you know, when you were, you really like certain characters, and you're just like, oh my god, you're so freaking precious, and you need to be protected no matter what. And you feel a certain type of way when you find out who the person is, though, who's abusing them. You're like, you know what, I just want to kill you because I don't like your ass. And the fact that all these other workers, except the girl with the ponytail, because I feel like she's interesting as well, and she could be, um, she could possibly be good. Who knows? She could be having her own reason, but because of the fact is this is the first episode we have an introduction for her, and she's also featured in the opening, I know nothing about her. She could be flip-flopping as well, just as much as Victor, but, <laughs> you know, the fact is that these workers, these scientists, ain't doing shit for these kids, like, except just playing with them, no matter what, these kids are never gonna be able to see their families again. They're gonna die. You, you have like, do you not have remorse for these kids? Any of them, no matter what. And if possibly someone does, do they get killed for it as well? I mean, that's a job I don't want to have. No, I mean that. Mm -mm, that that's a little fucked up. But yeah, I, I really would say these last two episodes are interesting. I love the way how the Joker arc ended because those three episodes were literally the best three episodes besides I think kind of everything before um when Inca first came in those were good episodes I would still say like the um the episode arc with Juggernaut uh Tamaki Shinra when they were out and <laughs> my freaking 
our mole when I kept saying I wanted merch of him for a couple of weeks. I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. And so I feel like that's when the series kind of was eh, and it was trying to find itself. And it still kind of seems like it is trying to find itself and settling, even though the creator of the series is like, this is what's going to happen next. But I think anime-wise, with the way it's supposed to be translated from manga to anime, it, it's a little, like, it, it's everywhere. It was a little, a little teeny tiny miss. Not a big one. And I, and I hate to say that as, um, or a viewer and a fan of this series, but, and it's not bad. It's just that little teeny tiny thing. But I think the last three episodes for Joker's arc and this episode kind of brought that fire back into me and wanting to support this series again and to see what happens next because with the way this episode, I can't speak again, with the way this episode just ends like this abruptly, there seems like it's, it's going to be more. I don't, um, God, do I want to also talk about this as well? You know what, fuck it, I am. Um, because I want to say what was it, two, three weeks ago, there was talk that, um, the, I want to say the ratings for this show aren't doing so hot. So I think a lot of people are kind of speculating if this show is going to get a season three. I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's a really damn good show and it keeps you on the edge of your seat, but I don't know. I would like to see a third season. It just really depends on what's going to happen from 15 to 24. And if it gets enough merch sales, manga sales, DVD sales, and anything else to possibly have it. Because I keep forgetting, like, here in America, it's completely different than it is in Japan. Because here in America, we have it by how many freaking people sit and watch the dang episode that night. Or, um, same thing with DVRing that's what it is but in japan it's about merch sales and so if merch sales don't really do as great sometimes the show isn't going to get a second or third or fourth whatever season because of it or it could be um the situations with like the creator and the studio that's animating it they can go their separate ways and creative differences and ish like that it's a lot of things that could possibly happen for this series but i'm 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 excited to see what the hell's gonna happen next, because I want to know more about Karina, honestly, and his fucking meal. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of season 2 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday, Saturday. Um, for episode 15, I will try to get it out ASA, uh, ASAP. But, yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.